This episode is made possible by our sponsor, Omega Bright Wellness. I've taken their Omega-3 supplements for many years, and so has my wife, and that's why I invited them to sponsor my podcast. I'm proud to have them. You can find all of their products online at omegabrightwellness.com, and bright is intentionally misspelled B-R-I-T-E, omegabrightwellness.com. Hello, and welcome to Distraction. I'm your host, Dr. Ned Hallowell. Today's mini-episode is to celebrate National Don't Cry Over Spilled Milk Day, which is February 11th, three days before Valentine's Day. You get a chance to not cry over whatever milk you have spilled. This uh, this proverb, saying, homily, adage, whatever we call it, has been around for centuries. Our producer did a little research, and she found its first incarnation in the mid-1600s, and then uh, the first published citation, 1659. So, you know, don't cry over spilled milk. It's been around a long time. Uh, but not as long as spilled milk has been around. I suppose the, the, the question is when something disappointing happens, how do you not let it get to you? When milk gets spilled, how do you not cry? Um, first of all, sometimes it's a good idea to cry. So I don't know that we, we always want to tell someone not to cry when they spill the milk. Sometimes crying about it is a good way to get over it. So there's a little puritanical touch in there. Don't cry over spilt milk. Keep a stiff upper lip and spill some more milk. <laughs> you know? But I think uh, it's also good to have remedies at hand when something disappointing happens and when you can't do anything about it. The milk has been spilled. Uh, you clean it up. You try not to spill anymore. You move on. Um, but, you know, I think for every disappointment, uh there's always a chance to look to other people and commiserate. That's what the word commiserate means, co-misery, you know, co so commiserate. And life is, and I don't mean to sound like a bleak person, but life is in many ways a series of disappointments. Samuel Johnson, one of my great heroes, said, you know, life is a progress not from pleasure to pleasure, but from hope to hope, you know, and, and so we're, we're, we're often uh, buoyed by hope in dealing with disappointment. And you, you might say disappointment is just a very natural part of life. So spilled milk, uh, in that sense, don't cry over it. It's life. You know, don't laugh about it. You know, say, oh, there's more spilled milk, more life, more things that could go wrong. Uh, I, I was on a podcast the other day. The name of it is What Fresh Hell? <laughs> It was a podcast for moms, you know, and what fresh hell will today bring? So, you know, the, the, there's a sense of, of humor. Uh, oh, I spilled some more milk. I'll never forget Julia Child on one of her episodes. She was showing how you, you poach a salmon. And she dropped as she was layer, lo, lowering the salmon into the salmon, the long, narrow, oval-shaped salmon pan. She dropped it on the floor. And rather than doing a retake, she simply said, whoops, and she picked it up and put it in the pan. She said, no one will know, no one will know. And, uh, and, and I've always thought of that as a perfect example of how to deal with a disappointment. You just pick it up and pop it in and put it in the oven and nobody will know because nobody saw. Of course, she did it on national television, giving us all a role model for dealing with disappointment and not letting it ruin our day. So in the name of Julia Child and James Howell, who in 1659 first published a citation of this, and in the name of all of us everywhere who spill milk in one form or another every day, or the recipient of milk spilled upon us, carry on, laugh about it, live it up, enjoy it, celebrate it. After all, you're alive and able to see the milk, spill the milk, feel the milk, and some days even drink the milk. This is Dr. Ned Hallowell wishing you nothing but good luck. 
All right. Well, that's it for me today. Thank you, as always, to our sponsor, Omega Bright Wellness. Save 20% on your first order with the promo code DISTRACTION at OmegaBrightWellness.com. That's B-R-I-T-E, OmegaBrightWellness.com. And please get a copy of my new book, ADHD 2.0, by clicking the link in the show notes or by going to my website, drhallowell.com, or by going to Amazon, or wherever books are sold. It's always nice to support your local independent bookseller if you have one in your town. They are a dying breed, and they're wonderful places to go and hang out. The people who run them are always fonts of information, and they're interesting, independent-minded people. Please reach out to us with your questions and comments by emailing connect at distractionpodcast.com. That's connect, the word connect, at distractionpodcast.com. Please do send in your questions, ideas, reactions, feelings, hopes, aspirations, and anything else you'd like to send us. Distraction is created by Sounds Great Media. Our recording engineer and editor is the amazingly talented and personable Scott Person. And our producer is the also amazingly talented and personable Sarah Gurton. I'm Dr. Ned Hallowell, wishing you nothing but the best and milk that rarely spills. The episode you just heard was made possible by my good friends at Omega Bright Wellness. I take their supplements every day, and that's why I invited them to sponsor my podcast. Shop online at Omega Bright, and that's B-R-I-T-E, wellness.com.